going everyone and welcome back. For those that are subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate all of your support. And for those of you that are finding my channel for the very first time, welcome. Here's the Incredible Hulk by Hot Toys from the Age of Ultron movie, which I enjoyed immensely, but was met with a lot of criticism when released. I'm sure looking back at what Marvel has put out recently, this movie could be considered a masterpiece. This is the deluxe version with the extra torso and head sculpt. This piece is short on accessories, but loaded with tons of detail and weight. Coming with only two sets of hands, close fist hands, and semi-articulated open hands. You can move the fingers, but they will return to their position shortly after. Grabbing and holding objects are achievable, but will require some work. The head sculpt likeness is bang on for the movie representation. You can move the eyes to get them in even more menacing poses. This figure is extremely easy and fun to pose, the strong ratchets hold the legs, arms, and hips in place. For some, the seams on the shoulders, wrists, and ankles will be a negative. But honestly, I'm not sure how you would be able to make this figure without doing so and keeping it affordable. I'm glad there are no seams on the biceps and neck area. The mouth and teeth work are highly realistic, along with the beautiful gray-blue eyes. I am most impressed on how they replicated his physique and veins throughout his entire body. There are tons of blues, reds, purples, and striations all over to add a ton of realism. I like that Hot Toys chose to give this Hulk more of a scene-specific coloring. The battle with the Hulkbuster is one of the best scenes in the movie and one of the most memorable throughout Marvel's list of feature films. Even throughout the film you can see a variation in its coloring due to lighting and placement in the scene. I like that each version of Hulk is different in color and separated himself from one another. From the Avengers, Age of Ultron, Ragnarok, and even Professor Hulk, you get a unique interpretation of this character. I've added the Iron Man Mark 43 for overall size comparison. Even though Iron Man is on his base which adds about 1-2 to two inches in height, the Incredible Hulk still towers over him. The Iron Man figure is roughly about 12 and a half inches tall, and the Hulk 16 inches or so depending on how you have him posed. He even makes Thanos look small, especially because the Hulk is a lot wider than the Thanos figure by Hot Toys. Thank you for checking out this segment. If you found anything helpful or enjoyed yourself for a few minutes, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, you could find me in the next episode.